Jocelyn of Alien vs. Predator, the Hunter's Edition. But I never really shown the game. So that's what I'm here to do. Hello everyone. And I'm doing a recording for Alien vs. Predator on the PlayStation 3. It's also on the Xbox 360 and on the PC. Now the developer is Rebellion. And if you recognize the name, well that's because they did the original Alien vs. Predator on the Atari Jaguar. And just a little known fact about Rebellions that they're one of the lead develop developers for that for the Atari Jaguar. But um, in I believe in 2000 they made a a new version of Alien vs. Predator for the uh, PC and that's usually referred to Alien vs. Predator 2000 and, um, and this is the third version you know there's been other spin-offs in the past you know just with uh, Predators and Alien stuff like that and I think there's supposed to be a a new I know there's a Predator movie coming out this year. I think this year. And there's supposed to be a Predator or I think an Aliens game coming out. There is a, a uh, Aliens Resurrection in the arcades. And if you saw that if you saw my video where I was showing off the arcade games that live in Busters towards the end of the video I was showing a arcade cabinet for Aliens Resurrection. But um anyway, um, this game. Um obviously this game definitely earns the mature rated rating. And an actually little backstory is that before the game was released, some countries thought this game was too violent and they were planning on flat out, you know, banning it because of the gore, you know. Like you just saw those scenes there, you know, you can slaughter your enemies to death and, you know, you can even harvest them. You know, you grab the, the humans and then you can harvest them by, you know, burn a uh, face hugger to them and you'll see them, you know, wrap themselves on their face. So, this scene is towards the end. Now, you may be wondering, why am I showing stuff towards the end of the game? Uh, mainly because there is a story, but the story is pretty generic. You know, the, the alien, the alien you play, you know, he's, it's a, uh, a lab rat, and something happens with the electric electrical system and you manage to escape and then you, your queen is able to communicate with you and the queen asks you to do these objectives for the queen and that's basically the, the story in the, in the alien front uh, the, the predator uh, they're there to It's, it's honestly it's been a while since I really tried to concentrate on the story. The predator there, you know, trying to accomplish something. And then, you know, the Marines. The Marines missions are trying to figure out what the hell's going on. And then they find some other stuff. You know, if you guys want to check out the game, feel free. Um, but the story is you're not playing this game for the story let's just face it okay? you're playing the game because you want to play as an alien as a predator now the the marine the shooting is generic first person shooter 101 anything a generic first person shooter has 
the Marine missions, the Marine campaign has it. Corridors, uh, gotta find the key to open the door, um, stuff like that, you know, just generic 101 stuff. And the Marine uh, campaign is actually the weakest of this game. It controls fine, but, you know, it's generic. It's not bad, but it's not terrible. It's just, alright, I've played this hundreds of times. The aliens, I, I found it to be the most exciting part just because the aliens are fast. You know, they're not... They're not really strong, you know, a couple hits, you're pretty much dead. And, uh, but, they, they are the most fun, at least for me, just because, like I said, uh, you're able to just run up to them, and then just do an instant kill on them. Uh, the, the Predator campaign is actually the most complex. And that's because the, the Predator is a lot more stealth than the other two. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Watch his head right there. But, um, yeah. I wasn't kidding when I'm just saying that. Yeah, this game's pretty cool. Ooh, look at that. Anyway. Um, so, obviously the, the Predator and the Marine, and the, Alien missions, alien campaigns, are the better aspects of the game. There is a online component. It's fun for a couple of days, uh, and that's pretty much it. You know, you just got the basic stuff there, but not, nothing, nothing to write home about really. It's there just to have some longevity, but. Uh, that's really it. You know, there's there's not really much else to say about it. Um, do I regret buying the game? Because remember, I did get the Hunter's Edition, and that version was a hundred dollars versus the standard sixty dollar price. I don't regret it. I did like the game. I like the Alien and the Predator campaign. I did not care about the Marine. And my biggest complaint with the Marine campaign is that it's not because it's generic. It's because the Marine campaign was the longest out of the two. The Alien was the shortest. The Marine was only maybe like an hour longer. And then the Marine campaign was like six hours. So the the alien the alien campaign was only like four hours long, the predator only like five, and then the marines like six hours or so. And um, honestly, that should that should have been flipped. But it is what it is. And, uh, do I think you should buy the game? Uh, this is more of a rental just because. At least at this point of time, I mean, it's not like the game fly. It did sell pretty well. You know, it sold over half a million copies on both on both the 360 and on the PS3. So, if you also include the PC, you know, across three platforms, you know, this this sell over a million copies, which is not too bad, really. But you know, it's not it's not it's not. You know, it's not modern warfare. Let's just put it that way. But uh, I'd say give this a rental. Beat in the weekend and call it a day. Later.